How do you design a hip roof? In this video, we're going to have a look at how to draw or design the geometry of a hipped roof. We have here the outline of a house. Theoretically, this is a garage entry, uh, a bedroom space or a living space and the back of the house. It's complicated enough that it's going to explain the process pretty well. We're going to have hips, ridges and valleys. So how do we do this? I'm going to use a blue pen to describe this. The first thing to do is to start on the outside edges. Now, of course, in ArchiCAD, we could do this in 3D, uh, but I'm just going to use two dimensional method to explain this. So we start, start with each corner. And when we go through each corner, we divide it in half. So because this is a, a 90 degree bend, in this case, all of these are 90 degree bends or corners, I'm going to draw each line at 45 degrees. And I'm deliberately going to let them overlap. And when they overlap, then we trim back the edges. So whether you're doing this in ArchiCAD or if you're doing this by hand, it's of course the same process and you just need to use some more tools. So let's go around and do this to all of the edges. I'll just trim as I go so I don't get complicated. It's best to start with the outside edges. That's not always going to work depending on the shape. But if you start with the outside edges, uh, you're less likely to run into troubles. Uh, and then whenever you get to two hips meeting, that's going to form into a ridge. So we could start by just extending a line across there just so we don't get confused as we go. All right, then we will have when two internal corners meet, that's a valley. And then when we have a valley, we have to match a valley or have a valley and a ridge meet. So we'll draw all of these in, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Now we've got every corner, but they aren't meeting very well, are they at the moment? So what happens when we get a valley and a ridge meeting, then that shoots back off at a 45 degree back towards the valley or away from the hip. Now it's just a question of which one of these meets first. Let's add that one more in up here. So we can see what's going to happen, that these two are going to meet first. So let's intersect those. Then what happens? That will extend through. Now these are all going to happen relatively at a similar time. So let's just let everything intersect and see how it works out. Intersect and run that through, intersect. So these all intersected nicely and that's created our hipped roof. Now that looks nice, there was no errors. If they're not meeting, we know that we've made a mistake. We've either made a mistake with the angles or we've left out a connection, but we don't really know if that's working or if it's true until we test it in 3D. I've drawn this in 2D in a worksheet. So I'm going to copy this information and paste this so I copy and paste this into a roof plan. And I'm just going to paste it over here for now. And I'm going to now use my roof tool, single plane roof tool, of course, to represent all of these aspects. And that's quickly going to show me if I've done this correctly. Of course, I can magic one this to make it faster. I'm not getting too much into the ArchiCAD uh, functions, but basically I'm defining the pitching point orientation and then all the roofs. So let's select all of these, view that in 3D. And we see that our hipped roof is all aligned. There's no corners that look strange. Nothing's out of ordinary. That's all working perfectly. So that's how we make a hipped roof. A hipped roof basically means that all of the roof edges are flat. They all have a common eave line. And no matter how complicated the shape or the form, the process of creating a hipped roof remains the same. 
We're now going to create the same hipped roof using Archicad's BIM method. So all I've done is copy across a polyline to represent the outer edge of the roof or the pitching plane of the roof. It doesn't really matter at the moment. We can then grab our roof tool. In this case, we want to use the multi-plane roof tool, not the single plane roof tool. And just so it looks the same, I'm going to give it no offset, basically meaning that it's got no eave at the moment. And all I need to do is magic wand, which is spacebar, click. And we see that it creates exactly the same roof. So let's select both of those side by side. Now the pitch might be different. Let's just check that. Let's make, yep, the pitch is 20. So we see that we can create the same thing in two different ways. These are steeper, 32.5. And of course, so the advantage of the BIM is that we can change it all in one go. But the same result, different process. So the BIM method of obviously much faster. So if you've done both, which one do you feel happier about? Are you happy that you know how to do maths? Are you happy that you've got Archicad to do it for you?